Hello world. Hey, welcome to iologyrob.com. Well, today is all about citrus. And the reason why I'm getting into citrus is because there are people out there that need to clean that liver up. And the only way that's going to really take place is if you get into your citrus of various types. Uh, and, and so oranges, uh, grapefruit, and get, get into your lemons. And there's a variety of those uh, individual fruits. So, what I do is I start off by just juicing some uh, organic Valencia oranges. And I say I've been doing about five oranges. So when I'm pressing this, it's also releasing the oils that are in the skin. Remember, every oil that you ingest in your body is going to get processed by that liver of yours. Any kind of grease, animal fat, whether they're good oils, avocado oil, almond oil, coconut oil, it doesn't matter. Any oil, grease you put in your body, your liver is going to suffer or benefit from it. So if your liver likes coconut oil from real coconuts, uh, real avocado, because there's oil in that. And so just think about that. When you eat these greasy french fries, uh, potato chips, uh, roll tacos, deep fried chimichangas and all that good stuff. Well, your liver's like, damn it. Because a lot of the oils that are being utilized today are not really good oils to ingest, like the canola, the corn, uh, soy oil. These are oils that your body really don't care for. But we do it anyway and we start to suffer. So your liver is the largest organ in the body internally and it's more like a vitamin pack you know it's here to provide you with vitamin a k d e gives you all the iron and minerals that you may be depleted in or just not getting in your diet so it'll secrete these vitamins and they call them enzymes so these bios end up in the uh, gallbladder yeah so that gallbladder usually supposed to just house the you know the bile from your liver which is enzymes to help in aid in digestion and provide you with nutrients that you need. However, if you're eating a lot of animal fat, the gallbladder usually gets congested, is saturated, and it builds up gallstones. So, if it didn't build up gallstones, then probably animal fat would be good, but that's what creates it. Dairy, the pork, skins, the... Uh, Anything that has to do with the fat of the animal, period. So all I did was add just uh, the juice of a lemon. And I got down about five oranges. So let me just knock this out. So you don't need a whole lot. You don't need to drink this all at once. So when you make this juice, enjoy it. So take a little bit here, a little bit there. And I recommend doing it with a straw so you don't eat up all the enamel on your teeth. So at this point I'm just going to rinse it with some water because the pulp still some good in there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is add some of this juice back into the Vitamix just to infuse some spearmint I got from my garden. So spearmint is good for various things like breaking up gravel in your, in your kidneys. So that'd be a good thing to do. I'll plug up the Vitamix and get this going. It's a done deal. I'm just going to strain it. like a process don't it but you yeah, it's so so worth it boom don't tap that pulp away it's a finished product
All I'm gonna do is just add this living water. There it is. Okay. The stainless steel uh, straw, they also make glass, but this is it. This is all you need to do. As a uh, Wow, so refreshing, so tasty, kind of sweet, sour. Uh, make some, try it. Keep that liver clean, folks.